Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds. Welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and the Secret World Legends. And finally, we've reached the ability to open the door to the City of the Black Pharaoh. So, or City of the Sun God, as he likes to call himself. So, what's behind the mystery door, shall we? Because I don't think we'll be ending up any place on Earth. Oh. Get holding. They're beautiful, aren't they? I've seen all there is to see in this world, and yet, every time I return here, they steal my breath away. Okay. Listen, their song is also beautiful. It has kept this city of the art and concealed since the monstrous reign of Akhenaten. The song of the Sentinels has kept him silenced, chained inside his tomb. Inside the Black Pyramid. It was naive of me to think it would be enough, that it would last forever. The disciples of the Arten have returned, as you well know. Akhenaten stirs in his sarcophagus. The Arten himself is awakening. This is why I have returned. Perhaps for the last time. It's also why you have come, though you may not know it yet. No matter how far I travel, how long I'm away, I always return to my duty. To my children. We have sat vigil in this temple of nightmares for 3,000 years. It may soon be at an end one way or another. The vigil is over. And we fight. It's no longer enough to conceal this place. It must be destroyed. All with you on that one. Each of their aspects, each of their spirits and the gods they represent will be needed. And you must help us unite them all. Only then can the Black Pharaoh be defeated. Only then can we prevent the return of the Arten itself. And only then may my children finally be free of this place. Of this world. So, does this guy just hang out here and do exposition to everybody? Looks uh, we've got some mail to hang on a sec. Oh my god, everybody's trying to get a hold of me. Patamos. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to start here. Oh, this is lovely. So the ghouls are leaving us alone. Um, yeah, let's see what Kirsten has to say first, shall we? Usually good not to Oh my god, seriously. Alright, alright, Kirsten, hit me. Looks like you're getting close to the pyramid. If I were you, I'd proceed with caution. You may also want we have a serious problem. Something is blocking the Agartha entrance, so unless you find someone who can provide more insight, you won't be coming home anytime soon. Oh no. I'm gonna finish this guy's mission too. Uh kid. Alright. He's given me some exposition. Apparently there are a song keeping Narlahotep asleep. He's been here for 3,000 years. He's the one who set it up with his kids, and I'm stranded. We are happy to greet you. We? I mean, you're in that skull, dude. All right, then. A city born in blood. The city of Sun God was supposed to remain buried forever, kept hidden in the world by Paramtus and children, the Sentinels. As cultists, demons, and ghouls rip through the valley, Peptos fears that they will not be able to contain the evil that will be spread in the valley, beyond Egypt. The Mensis failure protects his valley and his children, need help defeating the evil, yet yeah, it's kind of what I do. I have failed. I have failed them, and I have failed you. This terrible city was supposed to remain hidden for all time. But perhaps it was inevitable. Secrets cannot be kept forever. True. And at least the Sentinels, my children, no longer stand alone. Um. This is where the Black Pharaoh descended step by bloodstained step, where his subjects were brought as slaves and sacrificed to his cruel god, Arten. It is a city born in blood, and there is nothing to be learned from its horrors. Arten is no god, and the Artenist religion knows nothing of true sacrifice. 
made willingly, hearts filled with light and devotion. This thing called Arden only takes, demands and devours, men's innocence, their minds and souls, and nothing will still its hunger. We watched it once as it brought Egypt to her knees. And then we sacrificed ourselves and others to Ew. stop it. The world is bigger now. Given a chance, the Arten will spread his darkness beyond Egypt. Already the bloodshed increases and the carrion eaters gather around his altars. And my brave children cry out. Afraid their strength won't be enough this time. I will not allow myself to believe they can fail. Because should they fail, then the next sacrifice of blood will be our future and yours. Interesting note. He talks about willing sacrifice. I am not actually willing sacrifice. I was chosen. Oh, hang on. Ooh, okay. Apparently Kristen has more to say. This is turning about to quite the cliffhanger serial you've got going, men. Mummies, gods, sexy archaeol... Oh, right. The sexy archaeologists are back at him. <clears throat> Wow, I didn't know she was, she was a Yuri fan. Sexy archaeologist, oh my. Seriously, whenever some ancient god threatens to rise, it pays to be vigilant, and there's the whole problem with the rogue relics ending up in the wrong hands, i.e. not ours. There's enough turmoil in the secret world, we don't need rogue cells of sun-worshipping cults du jour currently fucking around the forces beyond their comprehension to have access to weapons of mass destruction. I guess what I'm saying is put an end to this. Only ask nicely once. Alright, alright. Alright, so, we're to clear the area of ghouls. Not a problem. I got this. I think I got this. Ow. Well, that sucked. All right, all right, all right. More and more. Ooh. I wasn't kidding about the Eye of Sauron up there. It's better effects than Jackson used. Eh, well, just do it this way. Pick you off one by one. He said one by one. Get in line. These are tougher. My guess, they're tougher because they're absorbing the evil that's coming off that goddamn thing out there. All right, you three here, just die. We have Maria captives. We have Maria captives. Oh God, don't tell me about this. Die. You're sentient enough to have slaves? Dude, dude, out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Excellent. I uh, don't suppose you're gonna be of any use. Yeah, at least let you keep the uniform. Okay. Slavery is a sin. I don't care what anybody thinks about Robert E. Howard. Not Robert E. Howard. Robert Lee. Why am I thinking of Robert? Oh, right, Lovecraftian. You are still alive. I knew you would be. All right then, Jin. We have fallen angels and ghouls. You recruiting Mar slaves for? I mean, seriously, I've seen more Maria captured than I have going. Uh, you guys are really, really doing badly. All right, all right. Who's next? Who's next? Um, hello, sir. I'm from the UN Human Rights um, Coalition. I want to deliver my petition via bullet. Okay, okay, okay. So... Ah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank God I've been keeping the weaponry up. Oh, you! Little. Oh, I set him on fire. Took him a second to die there. Dude, you're like free. Hey, they'll actually keep your sunglasses. They're not complete monsters. Wait, they are complete monsters. Alright. 
are free, you're free. Getting like Shadow of Mordor flashbacks here. The endless uh, rescuing of slaves. Oh, great, I'm one short. Let's see. I'm sure we can find somebody's to save here. Okay, all you die. You bastard! Okay, okay, everybody go. And I'll save you even though you're not even my quota. We're following the captives? Okay, cool. So we're all heading into trouble. And I got a bunch. Dude, come with us! Come with us! Alright, alright, come on. The more, the merrier. Nothing like having a few meat shields between you and danger. Bound spirit of the desert. Uh, okay. There you are. All right. Guys, I'll be right with you. I'm getting some more help. Okay, where are we going next, guys? Wait, the golems are killing ghouls, and it's in this location? Sometimes I get confused about what we're doing. I guess those guys are on the way out. Oh, we're in perdition. I think I was there already. Uh, who are you, and what? A uh, ghoul mage! You're probably dangerous. You are dangerous. Oh, come on. Must I do everything? All right, all right, boom, everything. Okay. Uh, gums are nice, but apparently, you know, Smith and Wesson does better. Oh, great. You you go you guy got that you guys got that. You got that one. Don't mind me. Alright, alright, alright. Seriously. Ugh, guys. Viva Revolution! Oh, cool. Let's cause problems. Distractions and anything else? I ride the storm! Okay, Ghoul's Master, probably. You know, screw it. You want to be free? Work for your freedom. I am Spartacus. It doesn't work when you're just me. Then you're the only human in the room. Ah, you got a security problem over there. Maybe you should do something about it. Okay, purple glow. Purple glow. You definitely gotta be the master here. Hi. I don't know who you are, but burn. Thank you. Kirsten, tell me what's up. What an annoying little man. Did you sit through the entire sob story with a straight face? Oh, my children. Boo fucking who? Quit your... Kirsten, burn. That city of his is all the rage at the water cooler this week, though. Keeping that shit hidden from all of us for that amount of time really is quite a feat. It means that we've got 3,000 years behind in the information curve, and that is not a good look for us. Hint, keep the information coming. Feel free to continue helping them. Considering the father's crying and self-doubt, I don't think we can count on him to make tough decisions. Maybe one of the kids still has balls. I despise you, Kirsten. All right, all right. So, is this shield stabilizer? Oh, don't mind me. Oh, the barrier's down. I can get out. Another 
remains of the Jin Slaver are some embers, perhaps burning with magical flames. Perhaps this very remains of the demonic slaver can be used to stop the gruesome feast of his minions below. Rules and okay, cool. Let's do this. Use the ember to touch rotting corpses. Uh, do I take it? Do I not? Rotting cor. Oh, there we are down here below. Oh, another device. All right, we got this shoots and ladder thing going. Down there. Ooh, hi guys. Ah, oh, this is cool. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. You guys go. Be free. I gotta take care of some corpse detail. Uh, why do I always get the fun jobs? And you know, I only had to do five in Kingsmith. Here, let me cook that for you. My god. I'm guessing they've started kidnapping Maria because they ran out of villagers. Hey, what do you know? We still got an entire parade going down there. I am the Liberator! Well, too late to liberate these guys. At least I can give them... At least I can cook them decently for these guys. I mean, being eaten in improper fashion is just terrible. There you go. Homo sapien flambe. These guys seem to like it. Let's see, anybody else? And one more here. Uh, oh, and one that's stuck in the back. Virgin meat. Nobody seems to have gotten this one yet. They burned their corpse reserves. What the hell is that? Oh, where is that? Let me check the map. Gotta get back to the portal. Looks like I can come through here and get the corpse then. Annoyance. party. Let's go. Ah. I guess their corpse reserve is where they pull from. Tell who? Meta Zomosa? Okay. Why am I guessing this is going to involve an entirely new set of uh, quests? Let's see. He looks like he's ever... Let's see. I think the portal's in that direction. All right, we'll deal. I'll drop off the message and head back to the portal and see what's going on. Who's Meta Mota Mayua? Uh, forgive me. Anyway, is he in here? Uh, I'll come back for that. Hi. The hell? I'm going to be saying that a lot, aren't I? I'm probably going to regret this. Meta Mayoya's longing for an end to her eternal plight has weakened her defense of the Temple City. Darkness is on the rise, and this primordial caddy is each swelling swell. Ooh. Shades. I hate shades. Hang on. Let's see what Kirsten has to say first. Uh, nothing, nothing about this particular mission. Thinking I'll come back to this, because I have no idea what's going on. And I need to get... Let's see. Where's the freaking exit? Yeah, back through here. Metaso is a sentient statue, apparently, and I'll get to her in a moment, but let's, um, ooh, I've got to search the area for Maria, too. I got a lot of stuff to do, and I just got here. Anyways, let's see what we got here. Ah, the Withered Spring. Anyways, with the shield down. All right, so what am I supposed to do next? No, that's not it. Tier 14. There we go. Uh, inside the cursed city of Storm's building, an ancient warden explains his seven children as a sentinel have long fiddled the evil of a pharaoh Akatan with their song. Now their power is fearing, the warden recruits you to help. Okay, so a little bit out of sequence. I was supposed to confirm this was open before I run here. This area, I'm not kidding. It really gives me a Mordor kind of feel. And eventually I gotta find out where you guys went. Oh, hi. I guess we're not talking at the moment. Huh, what's this? 
Uh, secret passage. I'll be back shortly. I'm sure this will come in handy in a moment. The Shrine of Moti Moya. That's true. One of the things, by the way, that's interesting about that is statues originally supposed to be reservoir where the god would draw down and speak through to the peep or person if it was perfect enough. Oof, that's ominous. So, I guess we could see what the gods look like. Let's do the sad song. I love stinks. Mine is the sad song. I guess it always was. She's the goth. You. You are all my father said you would be, and yet nothing like I imagined. Mm. It's hard to base a perception on a word, and it's wrong to chain someone to one place for all eternity. That's for that cable. I see you here now, and it fills me with relief and horror, joy and sadness. Relief that this, the longest wait, is almost over. Horror you can see all around you. The voice from the deep is drowning my song in its noise Oof. as the catacombs fill with the slaves of darkness. Joy that my personal nightmare is perhaps coming to an end. You're not leaving me, are you, big sister? I will never leave you, my love. Never. Promise? I swear on my own children, little brother. I swear on all the stars in the sky, on all the grains of sand in the desert. It's a lot. Okay, then. And sadness for my little brother. He never knew anything but this half-life. And now even that is being stolen away from him. We are all that he has. If it weren't for him, I would just let go. I would let the deep voices in and allow them to still my song. I would rest. I would sleep. But I would miss him too much. There's a story here. Okay, so let's talk about what a god is, because apparently this has become a thing now. Oh, hi guys. Now, what a god is, in the classical pagan sense... If that looks unpleasant. Anyways, we're supposed to be going this way. What a god is, is an emissary between a higher power and the material world. In this case, the higher power being the daughter Atasibu, I can't pronounce it unfortunately, and this physical world, and she's imprisoning the nameless pharaoh. Sorry, the black pharaoh, nameless evil, herald of the apocalypse, but anyways. And what I am is a young god. Now, the reason why they're so happy to see me is that I am the herald of their apocalypse, their end. Their shift is nearly over, and mine is about to begin. I don't think I'll be trapped in stone for all eternity, but... This is how these legends go. Older gods are supplanted by younger ones. And I'm a god with an automatic weapon. Okay, so I think we're here at the primordial catacombs. Guys, uh, letting me in? Thank you, I didn't think we'd have any problems. Oh, find who controls the suffering souls. So yes, in order to help her move along and probably recombine with eternity, I'm probably gonna have to take care of her sorrows. Now, there's multiple guardians, multiple problems, and like I said, since Hipster Dude is one of the Gaian chosen heralds of the Apocalypse of the Fourth Age, I'm cleaning up from the Third Age, which is where these entities are from. These, uh, do we even have to fight these guys? Apparently not. Hi, guys. Oh, well, this looks unpleasant. Oh, let us a swamp, just sand. Uh, this apparently just... Souls chilling, I guess. Are you new release suffering soul? I guess we're through here. Uh, can you give me directions? No? Okay, never mind. Sometimes you don't have to fight. I guess it's just kind of a thing. Ah, so this looks ominous. Let's crack her open. Aha! Shade of suffering. 
allow me to show you what suffering is. All right. Well, relatively easy for a Herald of Evil. I guess he's just the warm-up boss. <laughs> yes, I still have this freaking thing going. Kind of like it. It's confetti. The Shade of Torment. Oh, cool. I'd like to get in the torment thing, if you don't mind. Wow. Ah, there we go. Free the tor- You've been torturing villagers? That's just- That's just unkind. So, the living feeding off the dead. Yeah, it's pretty common. And how do I find them? Knock, knock. All right. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, torment, torment. Ah, this way. <laughs> Silly me. Should have asked for directions. Ah, I remember you things. Uh, wait. Thought you were wisps. Ah, uh, what are you? All right, you, soul stripper. Um, rather inappropriate jokes that th you thought of. Okay, you, out. So they're torturing them for s to get, drain their suffering to make more souls suffer? I don't know. In any case, it's bad, I'm stopping it. I don't have to understand it. There was a wonderful Jim Butcher quote about this. It says, you know, it takes a true genius to create a, a monument of el eldritch suffering, but it takes an ape with a stick to break it. I am that ape with a stick. All right, up and at him. Meet you at Arby's. I know, I know, they've suffered enough. Does he have a soul stripper pole? Ha ha ha, that's terrible. Please forgive me. All right, all right, venture deeper. Wait, I can't, oh, that's just. So after I get my quota, I can't save anymore. That's just nasty. Dude, leave. Maybe he's into it. Let's not follow that thought any further. All right. Who's the next in the contestant on the murder train? Oh, it's up this way. I know he's not supposed to. I'm not supposed to go the other way, but I'm just curious. I'll be there in a moment. Looks like that's also progress, so let's pop this one out first. Okay, what's in the box? A shade of vengeance. Cool. How many flavors are we gonna get here? Alright. Wait. Oh, you're still there? I really need to be very careful about that. Uh, I thought... Okay, find out who covered the shade. Got it. Excuse me, guys. Hi. Uh, excuse me. All right. Shade of... I'll find out. King of the Red Shadows. Time for you to be dethroned. All right. Well, that was relatively painless. Let's see what Kirsten has to say. These kind of ritual shade operations are a nightmare. If you ever want to see one on a large scale, just take a bus to Newark. Ha <laughs> ha! Another joke from New about New Jersey from a New Yorker. I think that's like a 150-year tradition at this point. We know the Atonists have significant foothold in the region, but for them to run this kind of torture factory under the nose of a sentinel is all kinds of troubling. Muta Muna embodies the spirit of the goddess Mersinger, supposedly a protector of tombs and goddess of silence. Seeing how the tombs are overrunning with shrieking torture victims, I see she's got her headphones on. So I was right. She is the conduit to a higher power. Just as I am a conduit to Gaia. But that enough about that, and frankly, I don't feel like walking the whole way, so let's pop out of here. It looks like the only place I have to go is here, but I gotta look for the Maria over there anyways. 
Got you there. Okay, so actually, quick detour. It turns out that Moti Munga, who I believe since, you know, she's been mentioned with a particular goddess, is the actual priestess of the goddess. So we have the cosmic force of death, I suppose, the goddess, and then the priestess who is now in the statue to act as a physical um, representation after her material death, because as she's not a bee, she must have had mortal flesh and been stuck in the statue. I could talk to the old guy about this sometime. But anyway, she wants to give us a blessing, apparently. All right. Uh, apparently, I'm missing. Ah, there we go. This is my daughter, Mutamoya. She holds the veil that kept the city hidden from the outside. Hello, father. She embodies oh. the spirit of Merit Sega. Can you hear them whispering from beneath? The tombs are stirring and the dead are waking. My song is fading. The voices from beyond are getting louder. I know you are tired, my sweet, but you must channel your spirit. Oh, well, that's actually quite nice. Yes, once more into the breach. Where have you have given silence? And um, peace to the suffering, it is my turn to do it for you. You, on the other hand, suck. I don't know why, I just don't like you. I'm sure there's more. A portal? Alright, we're gonna take that portal next session, but I'm gonna complete my journey to find the Mari. I just a second. Okay, so we're back here, and I guess the icons indicate this is the closest we're getting to civilization in this underworld city of the dam, because this is, I think, where we are. I don't think we're in the physical plane anymore. Because remember, the Illuminati didn't have the ability to find it. Okay, so... Dude! How's it going? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Eh, nothing big. You're telling me the council knows this place... Oh, sorry. Has access to it and just uses it for a shop. I'm... Oh, my God. Well... At least, look, two of the people I saved got here. Uh, some days, some days, it's just not worth chewing through the restraints. Anyways, I've got a good start here, so I'm probably going to call it here for this episode. It might be a little short, but I promise to definitely pick up because we got lots of the souls of the dam to deal with here. So I'll see you next time. This is Fantastic World saying for Alpha Lovecraft Country and the Secret World Legends. See you next episode. You will see the dawning of a new age. To be a monarch or a beggar. To lose everything, or to become a god. To stand with us, or against us. The choice is yours. You will